Hello and welcome to the Storybox Project. Welcome to our sports theme. My name's Liz and I'm going to take you through a really fun game that we're going to play together. It's our Sporty Sounds game. The way this game is going to work is that I'm going to play four different sounds and what I want you to do is listen to the sounds and see if you can guess the sport that they're related to. Um, it's really simple, it's just for fun, so we're just going to give it a go and see how many you can guess. Maybe when you're listening to them, if you manage to guess or have got an idea what you think the sport is, why don't you write it in the comments below this video. So the first one that I'm going to play, it's, it's only a short one, so I'm going to play it and we can listen to it a couple of times and then maybe we can think about what it might be. Okay, so we've had a listen, maybe one more time. And what do you think that might be? Well, it's definitely a ball bouncing, definitely some kind of ball bouncing. Um, it sounds to me like it's bouncing onto a hard surface, so not onto a field, but or a cricket field or a pitch, definitely a kind of harder surface. And it's bouncing against something, so it's not being caught, it's, it's bouncing against maybe a bat or a racket, kind of with that boing, boing sound. So it looks like the racket isn't that, it's hard maybe, but it's bouncy in some respect. So what do you think? What sport do you think that sound is related to? It's related to tennis. It's that really distinctive sound of the ball bouncing against the tennis racket. Don't know if that's a game that you ever played. Tennis was a game that we certainly used to play at school. And Wimbledon is a very famous event in the UK as well. So our second sound, this one's much loud, longer, so I'm going to play it. And we can have a listen and then maybe I can fade it out and we can continue listening whilst we talk about it. So here we go, sound number two, which sport do you think this is related to? So listening to that, it's definitely a crowd, quite a big crowd, sounds like the crowd is outdoors, maybe in a stadium or something like that. And that whistle that keeps coming is really distinctive. What games have a whistle? You can really feel the kind of peaks and troughs, the excitement and the disappointment of the audience. So if you've got any idea what this sport may be, you can't really hear the sport so much. It's more the atmosphere surrounding it for this one. If you want to, you could write what you think it is in the comments below. It's football. So this is a recording of a football match. I don't know if you've ever been to a football match, but that sense of the atmosphere is really clear from this, from this film. It's quite an indescribable thing, I think, to be in a football stadium with everyone cheering and following the match. I don't know if you've ever played football, what your favorite team is. I'll just listen for a minute longer. So that was football. So our third one, a little bit shorter again, so I'm going to play it and then, then we can have a talk about it, what we think it might be. So this is our third sound. Just having a listen to that one. So it's definitely in the water. But it does sound like the water's indoors rather than outdoors. So maybe a swimming pool of some kind. And it also, by the way, it's splash, splash, splash. It does sound like someone is swimming rather than diving. So I think it's, it's quite clear that this is some kind of swimming, maybe someone practicing for a swimming race. But I wonder if we could think what, what swimming stroke it might be. So it's got that splash, splash to it. So to me, doesn't sound like breaststroke because breaststroke is probably 
a bit more graceful. Butterfly, where well, you do that <laughs> with your arms. It's longer strokes than this one, I think. So I think it's going to be crawl or backstroke. Don't know which you think it is. I think I'm going to go for crawl, but I, I maybe maybe I'm wrong. Do you think it's backstroke? But I think I can't really hear anyone taking a pause for breath. That extra splash. You've got that more constant movement with the with the arms going back in backstroke. So I don't know if you like swimming. I'm not a great swimmer, but I do like swimming. But I would not say I'm a racer. And I don't know what your favourite stroke is. I think I like breaststroke when I'm doing lots of lots of lengths of the pool. So our final sound, we're going to listen to this one. It's a really short one. So again, we'll listen to it a couple of times and then we can have a look and see what we think it is. So here we go. So it's definitely a ball again, but it's a very different ball to the tennis ball that we had earlier. Sounds almost like different strokes trying to hit a ball. But it's definitely being hit with something, maybe a bat or a club, and the ball sounds quite hard. Sounds like it's outdoors, this sport, so I don't know if you've got any ideas. Just listen one more time. So it's golf. Quite a hard one that I found. I don't know if anyone has played golf. It's not a sport that I've ever played really. I have to say I'm probably better at crazy golf on the beach or when you go to the seaside and there's a crazy golf next to the beach rather than a proper game of golf. So that's our four different sounds for our sports. We have tennis, football, swimming and golf. So if you had to pick one of them as your favourite, which would you pick? Maybe you could write which one you'd pick in the comments and write why. I think if I had to pick one, it would be ten tennis to watch or swimming to take part in. So that's two, isn't it? If I had to pick one, it would be swimming. So thank you for taking part. Really enjoyed doing that game with you. If you want to access more Storybox resources, if you click the link below, there's loads of different resources there which you can try at home. And if you'd like to subscribe to our channel, if you click the red button, you'll receive an update every time a new video is uploaded. Thanks very much. Bye.